Conflict. As the world teetered on the brink of anarchy, a new hope arose. An elite international task force charged with ending the war and restoring liberty to all nations. Overwatch. Soldiers. Scientists. Adventurers. Oddities. Guardians who secured global peace for a generation. Under its steadfast protection, the world recovered. And today, though its watch has ended, its soaring ideals of freedom and equality will never be forgotten. Good job, team. Good job, Overwatch. Now, the agents of Overwatch, I've got to congratulate you guys first before we introduce you to the channel. Now, you guys introduced yourselves, your heroes. You also are probably never going to be forgotten. But a lot of you don't actually have the origin stories set for the fans. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be the mediator, bringing each and every one of you guys onto the channel, talking with you for a little bit, and letting you tell your origin story. So... We're going to explain the origin stories on this channel in depth, each individual character, and we're going to be starting off with one character precisely today. She is a former Overwatch agent. She's a time-jumping adventurer, an irrepressible force for good. She hails from London and has traveled all over the world. She was also a great admirer of Tahartha Mandata and also was inspired by May, an Overwatch scientist. Let's get to it already! Okay, Tracer, yes. I know, I know, let's get to the point. Yes, guys, we are going to be talking about Tracer today. Tracer, would you like to start off your story? All right, let's move forward. Overwatch was looking for a hotshot pilot to test their next generation teleporting fighter, the Slipstream. Enter Lena Upton. Call sign Tracer. <laughs> That's me. It was the sort of opportunity I dreamed of my whole life. But on my first flight, the teleportation matrix malfunctioned and I disappeared. I was missing for months and no one knew where or when I had gone. By the time Overwatch found me, I was little more than a ghost. The doctors call my condition chronal disassociation. I faded in and out of existence, disappearing for hours and days at a time. And even when I was there, I couldn't touch anything. But my friend Winston would not give up. He kept at it day and night until he invented the chronal harness that keeps me anchored to the present. I was myself again. Even better, it turned my condition into something great. I had control over my own time and I could speed it up and slow it down at will. My career as a pilot was over, but my life as an Overwatch agent had begun. Sounds like someone needs me, but don't worry, we'll have plenty of time for stories later. <laughs> Okay, so she's already gone. Well, while she's on a mission fighting crime, probably against Widowmaker, we're going to go into more detail. I'm going to leave off where she left off. I'm going to go back a little bit, though, backtrack, and talk a little bit more about the details. So, during her young years of a adventurer, she was a pilot, and she really enjoyed that job, and Overwatch liked the skills that she had and she was actually the youngest one inducted into the flight test program at Overwatch and then after that the fearless piloting skills that she actually acquired she was actually handpicked to test the prototype of a teleporting fighter jet known as Slipstream. As Tracer has already told us though the teleporting matrix of the aircraft malfunctioned during the first test flight and she disappeared. Lena was presumed dead by Overwatch. Now she wasn't actually dead though she reappeared months later, but her ordeal had greatly changed her. Her molecules had been desynchronized from the flow of time. Suffering from chronal dissociation, she was actually a living ghost, disappearing for hours and days at a time. Even for the brief moments that she was in the present, she was unable to maintain physical form. Unable to touch things, move things around, she wasn't able to do anything. Sometimes she had a strange dream about the past, including being a kitchen maid at some large house in the country. Now, Overwatch's doctors and scientists were stumped. Tracer's case seemed hopeless until a scientist named Winston designed the Chrono Accelerator as she said before, a device capable of keeping Tracer anchored in the present. In addition to this, 
It gave Tracer the abilities she has today to control her own time, allowing her to speed it up or slow it down at will. With all of this newfound skills, she actually became one of Overwatch's most effective agents, and at some point, she was stationed at Watchpoint, Gibraltar. And that, everybody, is how Tracer got her powers and became an Overwatch agent and started saving humanity. Now, she saved a lot of people's lives, and she also fought a lot of crime. Moving in, though, Overwatch did become disbanded eventually, and it became the post-Overwatch period. During this period, since Overwatch's dissolution, Tracer continued to right the wrongs and fight the good fight wherever the opportunity presented itself, because that's all she wanted to do with her powers. Now, there's a recall between a conversation with her and Winston. Winston, is that you, love? It's been too long. Years after Overwatch's disbandment, Tracer was contacted by Winston as an issue of recall order for Overwatch agents. She commented that they've been out of touch for far too long, an assessment that Winston agreed with, and Tracer was currently in the East England at the time. Just a few hours after the talk with Winston, Tracer was present in King's Row as Shambali leader Tahartha Mandata addressed a joint human omnic crowd. Now, Mandata was actually Tracer's idol. She came to suspect that there would be an assassination attempt, which she would find out later that night that it was correct. Confronting Widowmaker among the rooftops, the two carried out a run-and-gun battle, but despite the efforts, Widowmaker successfully assassinated the Omnic. Enraged, Tracer tackled Widowmaker, demanding to know why she had done it. Chuckling, Widowmaker easily incapacitated her and departed in a Talon aircraft. Later on, though, it wouldn't be the last time that Tracer seen Widowmaker. Widowmaker and Reaper attacked a museum dedicated to Overwatch, trying to steal Doomfist's gauntlet. Tracer fought them alongside Winston, and villains were forced to retreat. Tracer complimented two young boys that had helped them in the aftermath, commenting that the world would always be able to use more heroes. The whereabouts of Tracer, Winston, and the two who managed to escape is unknown at this point. But we know that to be a lie, because Tracer is currently on a mission, and we actually got to chat with her in this video. If you all enjoyed this style of lore content and you enjoyed the origin story of Tracer herself, please drop a like on the video. It helps the channel out a lot and it helps to get the video out to the community of Overwatch. And also, leave a comment down below of what character you want us to talk about next. Thank you all again for watching this. And again, subscribe for daily content on the channel, Daily Destiny, Weekly Overwatch, and also, as always, stay violent, be privileged, and we'll see you all in the next episode. You know, the world could always use more heroes.